Good morning and welcome to another Waterloo Wednesday. I just wanted to share a thought with you and uh, also again rejoice that uh, we had DJ and the Pulliam family join on Sunday. We're so grateful for that and excited for them being at Sotro Baptist Temple. Had another thought this week that I just wanted to use as an encouragement uh, to our church members. It ties back into one of the sermons on Sunday about God and who He is. It's neat. I've been in the study for this next Sunday, and we'll be talking again about God and, and who He is. And uh, again, just was reminded of how important it is to have a right view, a right perception of God. Obviously, it shapes our, our worldview and how we see everything, but also it just shapes our response to uh, the events of life. And uh, just want to encourage us, again, to have the right view of God. And one of the views of God that uh, um, was brought back up again this week that uh, uh, I appreciate even more uh, recently has been the idea that God is I am. And Jesus even said, I read this in my devotions, in John chapter 8, Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. And that phrase, I am, ties back into when uh, God was speaking to Moses in the burning bush and tell, told him to go tell him, I am sent you. I am that I am. He is the self-referencing God. That's one of his names, Yahweh or Jehovah. It's his self-referencing name. You know, a lot of us, we have to, you know, describe ourselves by I am a husband, I am a brother, I am a son, and we're, you know, uh, uh, related to other things. And who we are is a lot of times connected to other uh, things around us, other people, other you know, things, even uh, God, obviously, everything has its reference to God. We're all created by God. I am a creation of God. I am created in the image of God. Everything is related to Him, but God is self-referencing. He is the I am. He needs nothing to, de to define Him. He is who He is, and uh, He was before everything was. He was and is and is to come, and there's just no changing Him, no changing that fact. And that just reminded me again of just how he needs nothing. You know, I need so much and I rely so much on God and on other things, you know, to, for my existence, for my joy, my, my everything, you know, but yet God, he needs nothing. He is self-referencing. He is self-sustaining. He is, uh, he is who he is and, uh, we need him and he needs nothing else. And that just is, again, a great reminder, you know, a lot of times when we, uh, look at our world, we can see the, the, the problems and we can get fearful. We can realize just how much out of control we are, but it's helpful to see who God is because it puts everything in back, back in perspective, that he is in control of all things, that uh, he is not affected by any of this. Nothing ch changes who he is, and he is still above all and uh, working in all things. And so just a, another great reminder, you know, as we go through this uh, still a troubled time in our country, in our world, uh, it's just great to remember who God is, that nothing troubles him, nothing changes him. He is who he is, and nothing will ever change that. So take that encouragement with you today. Let that affect your worry, your fear, everything else, and let that dissipate uh, as we see who God is. Lord bless you today.